Hi Virgo, how are you doing? So we're going to have a look at the aspects of your day for the next few days, followed by a two angel messages, messages from your angels. All my cards can be found in the affiliate links down below. So what does Virgo need to know? Virgo. So this is the Ovo Den deck. So let's have a look at the aspects. And a few more cards because I'm not here tomorrow. Okay, so the first aspect is the dream. So when we have a dream of relationships or furthering our careers or even going into self-employment or just having an adventure. The dream is very, very special to us. It's individual. It might be consciously the same as everyone else's, but it's individual to you. So it's very important to have a dream and nurture that dream. Sometimes people use ideals that are not fitting with their own self-growth. So we don't want to be rescued as responsible adults. We want to empower ourselves. So this is what the Ozo Zen tells us to do. It is our own empowerment that we give to ourselves. We can't rely on another person to give us what is missing in our life. We need to be whole and complete before we attract the essence of what we do want. So yes, hold your dream dream of that perfect relationship or a dream of that perfect practicality in life but we must have that self-love to be able to attract that wholly to us this is a reminder from the Ozo Zen so for Virgos there's still a little bit of sorrow going on this generally is the worry card so it comes from it, the emotions and that brings up a sense of a mm, little bit of doubt, a little bit of concern. But there is no real overly anxious concern because the way is clear. You can get out of this because it is a mind. It is from the mind and the mind is just doing its job. So if you're telling yourself your situation is taking very long time or maybe you have this um, ideal and it's not working out, but that is an ideal and that does come from the mind of what you've learned so far. So when you believe that every, you're going to be in this perfect relationship, yes, it's good to have that vision, but it doesn't necessarily mean what you're thinking right now because this is the sorrow this is the pain and one needs to just drop that to understand that your mind needs to be your friend so you can feel the sorrow and the pain and the worry and the anxiety but one needs to just stand up lift your head high to the sky and realize the magnitude of possibilities out there each star is a little shining light and we remember each star is a wish. So dream bigger and better than before. So this is a great opportunity for you to let go of a current not so good dream and dream bigger. Find that self-love, find that expansion of consciousness to really go for what you really do need to achieve. So you see, you've done that. You've got the rebirth. So here you are in a sorrowful state and you've come out of that state to understand that you've got the strength and you're going to speak out and you're going to empower yourself with what you say, what you do and how you are. So this is great. See, it wasn't so bad after all. So, <laughs> so it says it's the rebirthing card. So it's like that whole energy of new way of thinking and understanding 
and the lions say, why didn't you do this sooner? You know, I've been here all the time and you finally let me out. So having this dream of this fantastic relationship has led you to have that relationship. So there you go. See here, not necessary. <laughs> so I laugh at life all the time. It's funny. So with the two of cups here, this is a unity, a great unity. So when you find the strength to merge, you create so much more. Look at these two trees here creating a different colour. The yellow and the pink is creating this orange hue, which is a significant colour for the here and now, in the moment. Do check out yesterday's daily reading for the chakra readings to see what strength of colour and chakra you need to develop into because um, that might give a better indication of love itself. So this friendliness is about accepting, accepting yourself and accepting another person in your personal space. So this will have a healing and nourishing effect on your life. So this is good, isn't it? So moving on, Virgo, you have the totality. In the Ozo Zen, this is about precision. If you're going to be a trapeze artist, then you need the precision and timing. So where is your timing and where is your precision? What needs sorting out and refining to actually connect with what you're trying to connect to. Again, living in the moment is very um, essential. See all this orange? So just be present today and tomorrow and really realise it's in that that you have your most valued moments. So not being too conscious of the future or the past, but just being present and enjoying today. Okay? So what else? So you have the harmony now. So this hot, this is really good. You've got the two of cups, which everyone really needs, and the ten of cups, which everyone desires. <laughs> so you have it. So having that love and understanding that you've given to yourself now, you've lifted yourself up from that little moment and realised that, wow, I am love. I am all love. I have got the ability to love even deeper on a spiritual level now. I can connect with my higher self and I'm really going to go for it. So this is a great opportunity and rebirth, rethinking and refeeling about your life. Can't get any better, can it? <laughs> so here you have the rebel scenario. So this means breaking away from normal way of thinking, that this normal stance here, and really believing that you can go for it. This is the Aryan card, I am. So where are you speaking, I am? I am all love. I am powerful. I, I know I now create my creation of possibilities. So the eagle is the spirit just urging... Um, the staff here with the fire breaking away of the mundane and the lack of possibilities within the mindset. This gives a more credence to this card here. So your mindset is going to be strong. You see the vision, you go for the vision and you are all powerful. In fact, you can you see here the angel wings are here. So behind him, he is the angel. You are the angel. So remember that. They're bowing to the angel. Okay, so you have the sharing card. So this is a great fire sign element. This gives you the ability to be generous with your thoughts and your feelings. So when you give to yourself, you'll have the ability to give to others. So financially, you are very secure in your thinking. So think really positive about financial um, aspects as well. 
So instead of thinking, oh, I haven't got enough, what you do have, share. I'm not saying give your last penny away. You know, offer, offer some food and a drink to your friends and family. And start by just giving to yourself and others in other ways. A bit of a compliment that is free. <laughs> Pay someone a compliment today and you'll feel good about yourself and others. So this is being generous and giving. Okay? So the last element for Virgos is comparison. When we're comparing situations, we're judging. And sometimes we do have to compare two things. But when we use this in a negative light, then that's not so good. But this is comparing and understanding that your mindset needs to be rebirthed. Your heart needs to be really strong. So when we compare two things like, um, oh, my mind is really bad. Oh, my mind is really good. We can have a gauge or a graph to see where we are. So this one here is the bamboo and the oak tree. So these are different trees and the bamboo is very flexible but still very strong the oak tree is very very strong but the the different so there's different elements so where are you bending to to reach the generosity to reach the emotional satisfaction and where is the strength in the giving and the producing and the beauty of you inside that's the giving nature Give to yourself and others and you'll see that the freedom of your vision has come really strong and is there for eternity if you allow it. So Virgos, let's have a look at your angel mes messages. So this is the messages from the angels. And you will find all my links to the cards in the description below. I also do live readings now. If you want to jump on, put the notification bell on because I never know when I'm going to do that because of life schedule. <laughs> Messages for Virgos. Right, we we'll use two little angels. One. So your first message from our lovely angels is Aurora. You are flying high right now, which may threaten others, but don't descend because others will soon become inspired by your example. So this is all about the um, sharing aspect and the totality. So when you share, people will go, hmm, that's interesting. Maybe you can share some very positive advice. Hmm, that's interesting. So we all need to nudge each other from time to time to understand that opinions count, but they're not necessarily our truth. So Aurora here, she's got that new vision because you've got the strength of your heart to actually do that. What are the messages here? Ariel, new psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself allow your spiritual gifts to open through study prayer and meditations so this is a beautiful card to actually have so when you feel satisfied and away from this sorrowful time you can see here that this heart has opened and you can now just sit back and relax and open up your third chakra, which is here, and really find the intuition and find that energy to come through even greater than it has in the past. So thank you so much for listening. Do take care of yourselves. Lots of loves. And we'll see you soon. Take care.